magic. I couldn't tell you the real reason other than God because we literally have never practiced ever. How did the Netflix special come about, though? Did they approach y'all? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it was like a two year process. Okay. You know what I mean? It was a two year process, and we, you know, had to make sure everything was right before we jumped out there because the thing about it is, in our mind, we make Netflix specials every time we put a live show on YouTube. Real talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you this, man. Like, you guys, man, that Netflix special, bro, number one, it stayed number one for a while. Congratulations. Thank hey, you. Hey, man, you Thank guys you. did a dope job. I had seen you and Carlos. I never really uh, seen DC Young Fly, you know, as far as in stand-up. So that that was dope to see the, him in that element. But the thing I looked at, man, was the way you guys' chemistry is, man. One being from Mississippi, one being from D.C., the other being from Atlanta. Like, that, that's that's a crazy combination. It can't be nothing but God, you know what I'm saying? Just how did y'all even link up, you know? Just give me the spiel on how you guys came together. Uh, me and Los met prior to uh, getting on Wild and Out. Okay. We met at a show at my alma mater at Winston-Salem State. Okay. He came with a guy named Zoo Man Miller to do the show, and we were on the show. I was in a group called the Freestyle Funny Comedy Show, which was mm. an improv group that we started in North Carolina, and we met there. So, you know, we already had a relationship. Me and Fly met on Wild and Out, you know what I'm saying? He had new Los, which was, with. it's like, it, it was instant. Cause Los had came there, they traveled there together. Mm -hmm. Los had came downstairs and was chopping it up with me when we got back. And then Fly came down and looked at both of us was like, ah, I see nigga, you done left me for your real friends. Damn. And that immediately made me like, ah, this nigga a real nigga. <laughs> so we just blended like that. And you know, Los is our elder. That's our, both our big brother, you know what I'm saying? And he is our elder in comedy and just having that mentality of what it looks like to make it in the game. He. He's, you know, he's strategic, you know what I'm saying? That's why they call him the sensei, because just the way his mind work, you know, how he can slice shit up in regards to the game, and, and we trust him, you know what I'm saying? We've always trusted him. So when he was like, man, we got to do some shit for us, and I'm like, nigga, well, whatever, we, whatever it is, let's That's do hard. it, you know what I'm saying? But this the shit that we do when we around each other anyway. So, so y'all just, just talking and saying yeah, we, we do just, something. We, we do this. Okay. We do this anyway. Yeah, you, know, you know this is this is how we chop it up, whether the cameras is on or not. So you just seeing us be us in front of the camera. That's all it is. That's why it works like that. That's it's magic. I couldn't tell you the real reason other than God, because we literally have never practiced ever. How did the Netflix special come about, though? Did they approach y'all? Uh, yeah, it, it was like a two-year process. Okay. You know what I mean? It was a two-year process, and we you know, had to make sure everything was right before we jumped out there because the thing about it is, in our mind, we make Netflix specials every time we put a live show on YouTube. Real talk. So we was like, man, what do y'all give us that we don't already given ourselves yeah. and we just looked at it and weighed the options and just the national exposure and you know the international exposure if you will that's what really made us say okay you know let's do it and it came out dope it because dope. It, it was it, it's it's not our best work if you will but it's a great commercial for the work that we do who came up with the 85 South, the, the whole, the, the name and just the that's Los, you know Lose. what I mean that's all Los, the, the format was we worked that out together, but the idea of, you know, just initially spearhead and everything, that's that's Carlos Miller all the way. It's big, man. Yeah. I mean, it's the dope show. When you see it, 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 it screams black culture. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important for us to be able to see something like that on the internet. Um, that's very, it, it develops our people, bro. You know, you see a lot of mess on that on that internet, man. Right. So it's like to see somebody really just having a good time, having a normal conversation, like we do. We just be talking. Right. And that's the dope part about a podcast. That was the whole game for us getting in it was so we could inject something into this thing where people could see my kids because mm -hmm. they stay on the phone. I'm like, shit, we got to get on this phone. Right. You know? like, right. How can we get on in, on this phone and be something that they can admire? That right. was my whole deal. So yeah. I think you guys got it. You know, oh, yeah, because, yeah, because the show... When I was watching it, it's like no other show that you've like seen. It's never been done before, you right. know, and, and to get those type of, you know, uh, I don't even know what to call it, to get that type of just stamp from the OGs, right. you know what I mean? It's the Steve Harvey's, the Martin Lawrence's, the Eddie Murphy's. Like, these dudes have told us personally wow. that y'all doing some shit that ain't never been done before. Wow. So it's like 
we didn't realize that that's what we was doing. We were just doing what came naturally to us. But that's usually how history is made. And, you know, that's something that I tell people that ask me for advice, man. Do what come natural to you. Don't force it. But how you know does it mean? feel to you when you hear them tell you all of that? It's surreal. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.